Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And yeah, we're back here in the controversial uh, zone of Planet X. Planet X, Nibiru, or is it just a planet from our own solar system that keeps showing up down in that southern hemisphere? Uh, and I, I'm just going to briefly speak about this. This photograph here was sent to me from uh, uh, Michael down in South Africa. And Michael took this picture here on January the 25th at about 10.15 a.m. in the morning. And, uh, of course, the sun is very bright. It's uh, kind of because it's so bright it's causing the camera to do its uh, darkening of, of the buildings around there. But it is morning sky sun there. And as you can see right there, you have a definitely some type of planetary body right here on your screen there, just like over in Australia. Uh, I know that there has been astronomy news that have kind of not been very happy with some of the things that I've said about this, but I have been very clear. I don't know for sure. Is it Planet X? Is it not Planet X, etc.? Uh, here it is up here uh, again, and uh, that one there, this is the one from our, our friends Kim and her husband down there in Australia. And there's something I want to show you, though, from Kim and uh, her husband there in Australia that really makes you question whether or not uh, this particular body is, uh, well, I should say, whether or not it would really be considered, in fact, uh, or, or if people that question that there may be an authenticity to this. And the reason I say that is because, um, let me see if this is the one here. No, that's not the one. Hang on. One second, friends, there. Uh, and that is because, uh, well, gosh, I had a better one there that, that, that they had sent me, and I thought I had it up on the screen, but maybe not. Um, oh, well. Anyway, let me, I'll show you the video instead that, that she sent me a few days ago. And this video she did after we had published, if I'm not mistaken, Kim, please forgive me if I got that wrong, but if I'm not mistaken, this video she had published after uh, we had already shared that with you guys. Oh, no, I'm sorry, two months ago. All right, so no, it's two months ago because I see it here on, the, on her thing there. So this video was done beforehand. But the strange thing is this this planetary body is already in the sky. This is very high um, and, on um, our top step. And yet... That's um, north. And yet the they were spraying the chemtrails to try to cover up this planetary body up there that was in the sky there, all right? And she literally catches, let me see if I can find the right spot on here. She literally catches the planes going over. There's one place where it's much thicker uh, and they're just spraying. And the funny thing is it's only spraying in the field of view where the planetary body is. They get to the sun area there and they stop. Yep. And, uh, and like she says on the video, why would they even be doing that? There, there we go right here. This is where, you know, she comes out on her veranda. And uh, you can already see the chemtrails there. And you can barely see it there. She catches it at one point. I actually was able to see it myself. May not, You may not be able to see it there. But the plane, uh, the, the jet flying over, them spraying, trying to make sure that you don't see anything in the sky. It just seems a little bit odd. Right? Seems a little bit odd. Uh, but anyway, so... I'll post that in the link there for you there so you can see that. And uh, also I want to bring to your attention too, you know, Jan is doing this series of videos right now over on Odyssey. Odyssey's got a little glitch in there. Uh, when we first loaded the video appears, but then it went to a blank screen, but you can hear Yana talking about it the entire time. I'll put her link to this video in the description below for you as well. Prominent evangelical leader is leading Christians to accept the Noahide laws. Uh, I did, because of this, I did connect this also over on iConnect. Uh, loaded it over there as well, so that uh, in the event you're not seeing it, you'll be able to see it. So I'll put the link to both, both iConnect and uh, Yana's channel there on Odyssey there for you in the description below. This is a very important video, uh, very, very important. Uh, let me just kind of play a little excerpt here for you. Uh, but she is going into... Uh, certain evangelical leaders that are clearly, clearly bowing down to the Noahide laws, uh, bowing down to this new world order, this coming. With the Orthodox Jews. Okay, so let me 
just show you here where she's in a contradiction with the New Testament in John 14, 26. It says, Jesus said, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything John I have 14, said to you. 20. So um, You need no, no one else to teach you except the Holy Spirit. And uh, what, what Jana was talking about here is that uh, this one particular evangelical, very well-known minister, uh, woman minister, was saying that you need to be learning from the Jews, uh, from the rabbis, from the Talmudist. Well, that's kind of funny. Jesus was rebuking them, rebuking the Talmud, rebuking the teachings of the Talmud. So uh, and this is what Jana is trying to really help expose there is that they're not just evangelical leaders, but politicians everywhere are caving in. They're giving in. And one brother sent her a beautiful scripture from Esther. I'm going to let Yana share that with you tomorrow. Uh, but very beautiful scripture there that really says it all. So I'm going to put both these here links here for you in the description below. Uh, and again, I want to thank uh, Michael. Uh, for sending this particular picture there from uh, South Africa. And uh, like I said, you look at that, you can't help. And, and we're not talking about the little glowy rings and everything. That's camera anomalies. But that rascal right there, uh, and just like what Kim has sent us here from, uh, oh, there's the one I was looking for, that Kim sent us here from uh, uh, Australia. Again, the planet there uh, to the left of the sun. I mean, you, you tell me. I mean, how do you, how does that happen, right? Let's just blow it up, right? We'll blow it up a little bit bigger so you can see it. But you tell me, how does that happen? And we're at, uh, we're at about, oh, let's go up to about 200%, right? It's just some kind of heavenly body there. 235% magnification of this thing, you know? And uh, that one she was able to see, as far as I know, she was able to see that one plain as day. The sun didn't obscure it or anything. You know, whereas uh, I'm sure for, in the case of uh, this one here too, now the sun did obscure this one. I believe this was also taken by Michael, if I'm not mistaken, with his camera. Uh, and then this one here is right there to the right of the sun. And everything depends. And by the way, there's no windows, no obstructions. Uh, coming out on the veranda there, uh, as uh, uh, Kim often speaks about there, and you see it up there in the clouds there, uh, you know, it's something. And like I said, I, I'm not saying 100% it's Nibiru Planet X, but it does make you question whether or not it might or might not be. Stephen Benin with Israeli News Live, thank you for listening, and God bless you. Have a great evening.